Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be taking a look at this issue of Simply Cards and Papercraft. This is issue 227. So let's take a look at the free gift first of all. This is called Birds of a Feather and you get a really great kit uh, with this and it truly is a kit with this month's uh, freebie. So this is a luxury kit. We've got seven papers, ten toppers, two glitter card sheets. We have the embossing folder we have your stamps as well with uh, of course your sentiments so all together we get 27 pieces included in this so you can you know you could literally just have a card base and just go with exactly what's uh, in this uh, kit uh, so as it says you get uh, seven papers in here they are a4 in size and they are single-sided as well we're going to be using the papers um for our background on today's card so we've got lovely obviously peacock in inspired uh, papers hopefully you can kind of see it there there's not too much glare uh, on there so we've got the feathers and we've got then the sort of uh, different colors in here so we've got the blues the greens the kind of teals and purples and then a beautiful gold uh, in here as well again more of those peacock feathers this one I really like because we've got those peacock feathers but then sort of what's really catching your eye first of all is all of these kind of gold uh, dots on there then we have got the actual peacocks themselves. This kit is going to work perfect with um, that newer kit by uh, Lou Collins Texture. She's got, um, I can't remember what it's called, or whether it's peacock plumage, something like that. This is going to work perfectly. We have got uh, zigzags just here, and that's our papers. Then we have our toppers. So on here, we have got uh, banners as well that you can cut down for your cards, but we have got your sentiments, different shapes. Again, the colors are all gonna coordinate really nicely, and we've got some lovely script font uh, in there as well. So they are gonna work perfectly on your cards as well. And then we do have two of these lovely gold glitter sheets as well. This is a non-shared paper, um, so anyone who doesn't like glitter paper will absolutely love this um so again a really great uh, sort of a pack there that you can just create your cards with straight away then we've got our embossing folder so you've got those peacock feathers and you've got that little love heart uh, in that as well the embossing folder is four by about five and three quarter inch so a good size embossing folder there and then if i just bring this up We've got our stamps just here. So we've got this really lovely big peacock. Happy birthday, thinking of you, fly high, be proud, uh, simply unique. And then we've got that smaller feather there. So that's the free gift. Let's take a look at the magazine itself for our inspiration. Uh, so straight away on the front cover, we have got different style cards, different ways of using the embossing folder. Of course, using our peacock on there. We've got this one here, which is pink themed. So again, you know, you don't have to do those kind of traditional colors all the colours uh, from the uh, papers. So the first set we got, this is Plumage Perfection. So again, just using all those bits, different colourways, different combinations, just to show you kind of what else uh, you can create. We've got creating uh, masculine makes with uh, the set there, the embossing folder. Again, we've got using the embossing folder and quite a watery technique there. We have got using the embossing folders with different papers and things like that. So again, you can be really, really creative. There's a lot in this kit for you to be able to create uh, lots of cards. So the next sort of big thing really that I want to show you that's in this magazine uh, is they are running this year's Card Maker of the Year competition. So this will be 2022. So if you have been watching my videos for a little while now, you know that I was one of last year's winners uh, of this competition. And you would have seen all of the gifts, uh, all the prizes, sorry, from this competition I've received over like the last year. Um, and really what's kind of happened since then as well. So um, I would absolutely encourage you to enter this competition. You have absolutely nothing to lose and a lot to gain. So up here it says uh, Card Maker of the Year is back with a bang. Enter today via Craft World for a chance to win the most craft prizes ever, a spot on their design team and an opportunity to come and visit us and have an unforgettable day with a few extra special prizes. So over on the next page they did ask us to do an interview with myself and Ashley. Um, so again Ashley won the uh, capsule collection so I'm looking forward to seeing uh, that when it's available. Um, so just a few questions you know across the 
year, what we've done and, you know, what we've enjoyed about it, things like that. So um, that was quite nice just to answer a few questions. So down at the bottom here, it tells you how to enter. So every entrant who signs up will receive a free digital copy of Die Cutting Essentials issue 73 plus exclusive SVG files. So they are looking for four designers who can show a multitude of paper crafting talents along with creativity and originality. For your chance to win, you will need to submit two cards and one other paper crafting product. This can be a scrapbook page, mini book or any other off the page item, but strictly no cards for the third entry so that we can get a a sense of your creativity and unique style. All you need to do is go to www.craftworld.com today for more information and to download your entry form and bonus digital magazine. Entries will be received no later than the 5th of May. So you have until the 5th of May to uh, submit two cards and a paper crafting project uh, to be in with a chance uh, to be crowned card maker of the year 2022. Uh, what you also get here, it says six runners up will go to an online vote where the winner will guest edit the Craft World Digi magazine. So, you know, every year it's not the same. They're obviously trying to uh, change things up, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Um, so, yeah, absolutely go and create, download your form and enter this competition because it is absolutely worth it. I'm sure all of the winners never, ever thought that they were going to win. Uh, and when they did, you know, absolutely brilliant. So definitely, definitely go and check that out. So the next issue of Simply Cards and Paper Crown this goes on sale the 10th of March and this is Sense of Spring. Um, so I've actually done a commission with this free gift uh, in this issue. So I had a lot of fun playing with it. We also get this um, Colorado Craft Company perfume bottle as well to use. Um, there is some downloadable papers and sentiments. Um, you get a sort of mini embossing folder just here we've got lots, lots of stamps to kind of decorate your uh, bottles and things and then there is a perfume in there as well and you have numbers as well for sort of big birthday occasions so as i said that goes on sale the 10th of march but for now let's take a look at creating a card using our birds for feather kit from this issue of simply cards and paper craft Today's card is gonna be circular and I wanted to show you how I create my circle card bases. So I'm taking the Hefty Doodles stitched uh, nest and circle dies and I'm cutting two of these from some 300 GSM cardstock, so nice and strong to create our card base. Once I've done that, I'm gonna take one of the circles and I'm gonna create a flap in this. So I just line it up with the one inch mark on my scoring tool uh, and that is gonna create my hinge. So the front of our card is gonna be perfectly circular. Now the one trick that I have found recently, I've created quite a few of these for my commissions, is they don't always stand up properly in kind of the position I want them to. So with that back piece, I'm going to make sure it's straight. So I'm going to sort of line up that one inch uh, score mark on my uh, guillotine. And then I'm going to shift it ever so slightly to take a really tiny amount. You can see it just off the bottom. That is going to help your card to stand up uh, straight. It's going to be, you know, whether you've got the flap right at the top, it's really going to help, um, you know, make a good card base. What you want to do when you come to assemble it is make sure that point is always at the bottom. But uh, we can have a look at that when we do start assembling uh, this card together. The next thing I'm going to do is create a scalloped layer from this gold glitter card and I've used the hunky dory uh, scalloped and straight edge circle nesting dies for that uh, and these work really nicely with these hefty doodle circles because it gives you a much thinner uh, mat and layer so you, you're not going to see sort of too much of that white. I wanted to make sure I used the embossing folder on the card today. So I've cut a piece of uh, this blue cardstock from one of the smaller sizes of the Hefty Doodle circles. I sprayed a little bit of water on it before I ran it through this embossing folder and that really helps to kind of stretch the fibers and it stops then your cardstock cracking uh, from breaking apart because like I said, it just helps um, sort of loosen the fibers of the paper. So that's a really good trick uh, if you don't always get the best results with your embossing folders. So I wanted to try and get as much on this card as possible because this is a great kit, like a complete kit. So I wanted to make use of the papers. So I'm being quite liberal here with sort of the sizes um, that I'm kind of ripping and things. If you want to, of course, make your paper last a little longer, you can do this in much more neater ways. But 
I wanted to get kind of a ripped layered look because I wanted to use all of these papers. So you can see that I've literally just teared both sides to create, you know, these strips here. And what I'm looking for is that white edge. <clears throat> you might notice on our first layer, uh, I didn't, I stuck the paper the wrong way around. So it doesn't have that white edge on it that I wanted. But, you know, I'm happy with how this looks. And adding our peacock on, you don't really see too much of it. You can see here that I haven't been particularly neat or um, sort of even with how I've ripped it or even the sizes that I've cut. So I'm just going to carry on laying these all on top of each other. You know, this paper is uh, more of a paper than a cardstock. So, you know, having all of these multiple layers on top of each other isn't adding too much bulk to the card, which is nice. Um, but again, you know, if you want to be a little bit more liberal with, with how much of this paper you're using, of course, you can do um, much sort of smaller pieces if you want it to go further. So again, I'm just layering these up, you know, showing off all of these different papers. And like I said, you know, you've got a really fantastic kit here. All I'm using is just some dies that I've got in my stash. I've made a card base and virtually everything else is from this kit. There is two ways of neatening this up. So you can either do it the way that I'm doing here. So I die cut my card first, uh, which is that blue. And I'm of course laying this on top. In a minute, I am gonna cut around uh, the back of this. I'm gonna use my circle and I'm gonna trim around it and take all of that excess off. Alternatively, you could just lay this down on a piece of paper and die cut afterwards. Uh, it's really up to you sort of maybe how confident you are with your scissors. It was really easy to do. The most important thing is you want to make sure that you get a good neat finish because you know this is going to be the edge uh, of this layer so you can see here that I'm just going to trim uh, around all of these pieces uh, very easy to do because I use my tape runner rather than uh, any double-sided tape or liquid glue which of course you could use this just makes it super super easy the next thing I'm going to do is work on my peacock. So I wanted to again add this huge peacock stamp onto my card and I wanted to do something a little bit different to help it stand out again from all those papers and that embossing folder. So I've taken a piece of watercolour card, I'm using my anti-static powder bag on here and I'm going to stamp then my peacock in my Simon Says Stamp Clear Sticky Ink. Lots of uh, you know embossing inks on the market that you can use uh, this is just the one I have I did do this um, a fair few times I just wanted to get all of that detail from the tail and then I'm going to sprinkle on some gold embossing powder now I'm only going to pour this onto the tail portion of this peacock once I've got that section covered I'm then going to use some white embossing powder just for the body and the head itself so don't always think that you need to just use one color of embossing powder as long as you're neat and careful you can use you know as many different colors of embossing powder that you want so I'm going to melt this here so you can just about see hopefully uh, that gold beautiful gold tail and then you've got that white detail of this body so we're going to do some ink smushing uh, and then we're going to have the heat embossed resist technique where you know this is still going to show through so beautifully with that gold uh, embossing powder as well it's going to stand out lovely so for my ink smushing I've taken out my glass mat and I've used four colors of distress ink so I've got mustard seed mermaid lagoon cracked pistachio and of course peacock feathers now this is a really fantastic color combination especially for this particular um design so with the peacocks and the colors that's in the papers of course though this did all kind of run together to be kind of that greeny aqua kind of color so what I did in between that first layer I dried it off I wiped up my mat and I just kept putting ink down onto my um, glass mat smushing it drying it and then I got this beautiful sort of multicolored effect where you are picking up the different um, greens in there the the yellow and that dark blue as well I did then go ahead and fussy cut around my peacock and I really love how this has turned out again with that uh, embossing powder you can still see all that detail and you just got a really beautiful hint of color so for my sentiment I've taken one of the sentiments uh, that have come with the kit I did really want to use uh, my paper ink stamp uh, sentiment stamps for this card but 
I'm a little bit reluctant to use them maybe when we have sentiments with the kits because of course I want to show you these magazines and you know show off the kits so as much as possible I'm still going to use what comes in these stamp sets but I still do really want to show off uh, my own stamp set that I've designed that will be featured in my next video so make sure you look out for that. So now I can assemble my card together. So I did attach just with some of that Nuvo liquid glue. I added my uh, background onto that gold uh, layer. You can see that I've just added some uh, foam. This is just the off cuts to my uh, circle foam pads. So I've just cut this up, you know, it's still sticky and it still works perfectly. And I'm gonna add this to my card base. And what I did was just make sure that that little slit I took off the bottom of that back piece, and you'll see me do it again here in a second, I'm, I'm sort of lining that up with one of the lines on my grid mat to make sure that I'm gonna get everything straight so when this card does stand up, it's not going to be kind of wonky. So I've done quite a few circle cards now uh, for my commissions. I tend to do one for each commission. Uh, and this is a little trick that I kind of learnt as I've gone because sometimes I sort of try to take pictures of it and, and they're a little bit wonky. Um, so definitely just take that small amount off the back of your card and it really will make a big difference. So I'm going to finish this off just with some crystal bling from Chloe's Creative Cards and that is going to finish my card for today. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial using this uh, stamp set and kit from the latest issue of Simply Cards and Papercraft. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so so you don't miss out on any future videos. That's it for today. Thanks very much for watching and happy crafting.